Hello and welcome to another video in a series where we take a look at all the enemy types in the first God of War game. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Cyclopses and Minotaurs. These are some of the larger enemies that we see throughout the game. Here is the first variant of the Minotaurs, the Minotaur Grunt. You first encounter this one in Athens. As you can see, it looks quite intimidating with the way it stands prepared to attack using its large battle axe, really does set the tone for this enemy type. Here are a few of its attack animations. This is a simple animation here. The way it pulls its arm back behind itself, then swinging it downward to the ground with full force with its weight, shows how deadly but slow this attack is. This is what it looks like in game. As you can see in game, of course, it looks much better and shows just how deadly it is. This is another one of its attacks. Here it swings its axe swiftly from side to side before pulling it upward and slamming it down to the ground. This is quite a deadly combo as you can see. This is what it looks like in game. This next variant is called the Minotaur Hammer Grunt. We also encounter this one in Athens. As you can tell, this one is blue, and from the name of this one, it wields a large war hammer, as well as a battle axe. A deadly combo of weaponry. As you can see, the hammer looks to have been used a lot more than its axe, as it is covered in more blood and appears to be battle-worn. Here is one of its attacks. Here it slams its hammer down with great force, then swinging its axe from side to side in one quick and deadly succession thus showing its ability to combo both its weaponry. Here it is in game now. This attack here is one I enjoy. The way it jumps into the air with its hammer behind it, then crushing it down back to the ground causing a deadly wave that shoots towards Kratos. It's just really satisfying to watch. Here it is in game. This death animation here is one that all the Minotaurs share. Kratos jumps onto its chest and forces the Minotaur to swallow one of his blades, thus causing this death animation. Here it is in game. Here in game, it looks much more brutal. You may be wondering what this animation here is. This animation is part of the previous death animation. The Minotaur wiggles its legs as it struggles against Kratos. Here in the browser, it's standing up, making it look like it's tap dancing. <laughs> this is another death animation they all share. This happens when you kill the Minotaur with the blade of Artemis, decapitating it and causing this animation. Here it is in game. This variant is called the Minotaur Tormentor. We encounter this one in the Challenge of Hades in Pandora's Temple. The name fits really well with this one, as it looks much more deadlier than its previous counterparts. This one is also blue and has spikes coming out of its back, as well as thick spiked arm guards. You also may have noticed that it has three horns now instead of two, the two of which are now pointed lower and are also wider apart from the head. This one wields a spiked double-bladed battle axe, of which is larger and more deadlier than the previous Minotaur's axes. This attack is interesting, as it swiftly swings its axe upwards with full force that can uppercut Kratos and send him flying if the player is not too careful. This is it in-game. This next attack is quick and deadly, as you can see, it quickly swings its axe from side to side, thus showing how brutal it is. Here it is in game. In this attack, it lowers itself onto all fours, 
scraping the floor with its hand before charging head first towards Kratos. Making good use of its horns, especially the one in the center of its head. This attack shows just how much of a beast it actually is. Here it is in game. This final variant of the Minotaurs is called the Minotaur Warrior. We also encounter this in Pandora's Temple. This one, as you can see, is a brown purplish colour and is similar to the previous variant, except it doesn't have any armour and there is no third horn in the centre of its head. This one wields a Warhammer, of which looks completely different. There are no spikes protruding from the top of this one, and it is slightly larger. This attack is simple. It brings the hammer back before slamming it down to the ground. It is the same attack as the Minotaur Grunts attack, except it is replaced with the Warhammer instead of the Battle Axe. Again, with this attack, it is the exact same as the Minotaur Grunts attack, but the weapon is replaced with the hammer. Here's a side by side comparison. As you can see, they are the exact same. Next up, we have the Cyclopses. This first variant of which is called the Cyclops Enforcer. We encounter this one in Athens. The name for this one is well suited as it is covered in armor, from its shoulder guards down to its knee and thigh guards. The helmet that it wears is interesting, not only for it being spiked, but for the fact that it covers its eye. I suppose that would be due to its eye being a weak point, considering it only has one. It also has a massive spiked ball that replaces its right hand. All of these factors combined make this variant very interesting. In this attack, as you can see, the Cyclops moves its arm in a circular motion to bring the heavy spiked ball up into the air before slamming it down into the ground. A nice little detail in this attack is that the Cyclops struggles slightly to get the ball out of the ground due to it being stuck from the attack. Here it is in game. In this attack, the Cyclops pulls back its arm before throwing it forward and letting the weight of the ball carry it across, before balancing itself back onto its feet. This animation shows just how heavy the weapon it wields actually is. This is it in game now. I especially enjoy this animation. The way it charges the ball up before shooting it out to cover more ground is just really enjoyable to watch. The right hand of the Cyclops is missing too. This perhaps suggests to the player that to install this weapon onto the Cyclops, it had to have its hand removed in order to do so. Of which is very intriguing. It adds a small amount of lore to this variant. This is it in game. This animation here is its death animation. This happens when you successfully complete the quick time event. Kratos punches the groin of the Cyclops before climbing on top of it and finishing it off by penetrating his blades through the helmet and ending the life of the Cyclops. It's all very brutal. Here it is in game. Here we have our second to last variant of the Cyclopses, the Desert King Cyclops. We encounter this one at the entrance of Pandora's Temple. This one doesn't have any armor and is a yellow brownish color, which fits due to the environment it is in. For the lack of armor it has, however, it does have a lot of spikes protruding from its body. The weapon this one wields is now what appears to be a spinal bone from something that is clearly larger than the Cyclops. This variant looks more primal than the Enforcer. A thing to mention is that you can see through the model here, 
This is because the alphas of the blood decals that are on this model don't work correctly. I've had to turn them on in order for the model to be correct. Without these decals turned on, this is what you would have been looking at. As you can see, it's not pretty to look at. Here is one of its attacks. Here it slides its hand on the floor before angling itself and charging towards the player, making good use of the spikes on its back. This is it in game now. Here in this attack, it swipes its weapon on the floor before pulling it up behind its head and smashing it back down to the ground, thus dealing heavy damage. This is it in game. Here in its final attack, it combo slams its weapon down on the ground three times in quick succession, thus making you not want to get caught in an attack like that. Here it is in game. This death animation here is another quick time event. Kratos stabs the Cyclops in the back of the leg to make it drop lower before climbing up it and using the spikes to grapple round and pierce the Cyclops' stomach with his blades, thus ending the Cyclops. This one is much more brutal than the Enforcer's death animation. This is it in game. Here we now have our final variant of the video, the Cyclops Brute. You encounter this one in the town square of Athens. This one looks quite simple from its counterparts. It has no armor and it is blue. The weapon this one wields appears to be a jawbone. Maybe it's from the same beast the Desert King acquired his weapon from. This attack is quite similar to the Enforcer's attack, except this time the weapon doesn't get stuck into the ground. Here it is in game. In this next attack, the Cyclops sweeps its weapon along the floor from side to side, causing some damage to the player if they get caught. This is it in game. In this final attack here, we see it stomp its foot down on the ground. Here in the browser, however, it looks like it's kicking. I am unsure as to why that is, but this is it in game. As you can see, once the Cyclops stomps its foot, it follows up with another attack, of which is the first attack that I showed. Here we have an injured animation. This happens when the circle button appears above its head, and once pressed, the Kratos will throw one of his blades up to the head of the Cyclops and pull to slam its head off the ground. This is it in game. Sadly, this one doesn't have a quick time event death animation. It just has the standard death animation they all share. Here it is in game. Well, that's a few of the bigger enemy types for this video. I hope that you all did enjoy all that I showed here in this video. Tell me in the comments which one was perhaps your favorite or least favorite animation or model. Maybe suggest something you'd like to see in another video based on the first God of War. That's all from me, and I will see you all in the next video.